I've been given the keys to a remarkable AI, and I'm going to show you how it performs across the entire graphic design landscape, why it matters, and at the very end, my honest opinion on it. And that's all before your cup of coffee or herbal tea gets cold. Are you team coffee or team teabag? So, we're looking at some products from Abacus AI, which will more than likely blow your mind. And the first being Chat LLM. And trust me, this isn't no ChatGPT playtime demo. The first thing that sets Chat LLM apart is how it handles large language models. So instead of locking you into just one, it brings together ChatGPT 5, Claude 4.5, Gemini 2.5, Grok 4, DeepSeek, O3 Pro, and several others. It even has something called Root LLM, which automatically chooses the best model for what you're asking to achieve. And yes, this is very important to graphic designers, as you're soon going to see. So when I'm brainstorming campaign ideas or writing tone of voice directions for a design project, it might use ChatGPT 5 or Claude 4.5. But when you're trying to logically break down visual structure or identify hierarchy, it could prefer to run with Gemini 2.5 for its logical clarity. And for technical work or just quick data processing, DeepSeek might be selected automatically. So essentially, instead of hopping between browser tabs like some caffeinated Rick Sanchez trying to find the right portal gun setting, it actually feels like having an assistant who knows which expert to call for each task. And that's whether I'm planning a logo project or preparing a client pitch. The results are sharper, more relevant, and far less generic than switching between tools on my own. But hey, let me show you how I've come to use it from the very beginning of a design project. So when I start a new logo design or a brand campaign, I can describe the audience, the desired emotions I want the design to tap into, the tone of communication, and so on. For example, if I'm working on a wellness brand targeting young professionals, I'll tell chat LLM something like this. The audience is overworked but aspirational. The emotion we want to evoke is calm and confident. The tone should be minimal, nurturing and trustworthy. From there, Chat LLM refines that into a concise creative brief, suggesting color directions based on emotional psychology, tone of voice design principles, and even typographic moods that align with emotional messaging. So it could suggest soft, neutral tones paired with clean geometric typefaces, and that's to balance approachability and professionalism. Chat LLM refines the brief using real design psychology, it analyzes color perception, type personality, and visual rhythm, then gives me several versions that feel directionally strong. Now, of course, I have a vast experience as a graphic designer, and whatever AI throws up at you, you need to have a critical mindset. You need to actually observe it and think if it's going to be useful or not. And I would say it should only really be a starting point for most projects. But things can be taken to the back end and into the written realms from there. And let me explain. So I use a feature called Humanize to turn the writing into something that sounds natural and persuasive. It does not just fix my grammar here. It's actually rewriting the text to sound as though a real creative director wrote it. How cool is that? Now you can use this for brand storylines, website copy, case study descriptions, and even internal design notes. It is a small thing that makes a huge difference here, because no matter how good your ideas are, your words shape how clients perceive them. Humanize will take the mechanical edge off of things, leaving everything smooth, emotional, and ready to present. It is like a double tag team just at your fingertips. Once the idea is clear in your mind, you can then move directly into visual creation, still inside chat LLM. Now it connects you with a range of image models including Sea Dream 4, Nano Banana, Recraft, Ideagram, and ChatGBT image generation and Flux as well. So if you're creating a mood board or a concept board for example, you could start with Recraft for its clean and minimal style.
And then when you need something more cinematic, you know, that crisp lighting, the rich depth and the perfect atmosphere, you can jump to Flux. And it is faster than Keanu Reeves in any bullet time scene from any Matrix movie ever made. The only difference is you're dodging bad color grading uh, instead of bullets. It's instant, it's fluid, and it is powerful. I can test lighting moods, color variations, or illustration styles without ever touching Photoshop or leaving the dashboard. All right from here, cozy at home. And then when it's time to add some movement into the whole thing, you can turn these images into short video sequences using Runway, Kling, Luma, Helio, and Sora 2, or even WAN 2.5, all from the same dashboard. That means you can create both the static visuals and the motion elements for a brand presentation in a single, really defined workflow. Something that would have needed maybe three or four hours separate tools now feels pretty seamless. Chat LLM isn't just about design generation, it's actually also a very powerful communicational tool as well. But one of the most overlooked parts of being a designer is explaining why your work matters or how it works. And when you need to create a client presentation or a design rationale, you can easily use a presentation builder inside Chat LLM. Now it generates full professional decks complete with graphs, charts, and data supported explanations. Again, customization is key here. You have a human brain, and hopefully if you're watching this, it's one that is inclined towards design. So use that brain whenever you are given AI results. But if you're pitching a campaign, it will pull in relevant research, such as how people react to different compositions or color tones and it presents everything in a structured, easy to follow format. It turns what used to take half a day into something you could refine in say 20 to 30 minutes. It helps you speak the language of clients and marketers, not just to other designers. Then there is a feature that really changes everything in my opinion, the Abacus AI Deep Agent, which feels like you have hired someone to work alongside you. Deep Agent can build, connect, and automate almost anything. It can do things like create a complete app with hosting, a database, authentication, and Stripe payments from a single prompt. You could connect it to Jira and Slack so it can create real-time dashboards for project tracking. It even automates social content, so scheduling posts on X and LinkedIn while you focus on creative direction. And again, I must emphasize to monitor what it does. Keep your hands on the steering wheel there, buddy. It can also generate deep research documents that combine market, brand, and demographic insights into one visually rich file. And if you are a developer or maybe a designer who codes occasionally, Abacus AI Desktop comes free with your chat LLM subscription. It is a full coding assistant that outperforms Claude Code and ChatGPT5 Codex, and it can debug or write scripts directly within the workspace. This isn't a gimmick. It's actually a real tool that can generate things like scripts for your portfolio sites or even to neaten up your resume. It really can help a whole lot. Another big part of graphic design is collaboration, and Chat LLM actually makes collaboration very, very simple. You can invite teammates, share projects, and manage everything in just one shared environment. It integrates with Slack, Teams, Google Drive, and OneDrive, so if your work is an agency or a partner agency or a small team, everyone can contribute and communicate in one space. You can even build chatbots trained on your company's data, which means internal processes like onboarding or file retrieval become automated and consistent. Now, what surprised me the most really was the pricing. I mean, for all of the generation models, the image to video, presentation tools, everything, just $10 a month. That's basically the price of an average DLC, except this one actually levels up your entire workflow instead of just your character skin. And if you ever need more, you can top up easily and any unused points roll over to the next month. For heavier users, the Pro tier unlocks deep automation and up to 25 advanced deep agent tasks for extra 10 or 20 dollars. 
it is pretty incredible value when you consider that most people pay $20 each for several separate tools. And you can try it right now through the link in the description box below or the pinned comment on this video. And so here's my honest conclusion here. Chat LLM does not replace creativity. And I know there will be that 25% of designers out there who hates the idea of AI in any kind of way, even though they have been using AI scripts in Adobe since the 90s. What it actually does is when used properly, it will amplify what you already bring to the table as a graphic designer. It can remove friction from your workflow and it actually can help you move from concept to execution without losing time to technical steps or context switching. And so whether you're writing, you're sketching, building, presenting, designing, it feels like a creative partner that evolves with you. And it won't be for everyone, of course, and it can be used to different degrees. Some people might just use it for research and, you know, writing or copy, but other people might use it for just straight up designs. Me personally, I always like to be the person creating the final solutions, and I like to use such products for ideation, concept creation, and sometimes presenting things. So yeah, try it out, explore the deep agent, and you'll soon see how it can fit into your workflow really nicely indeed. But if you want to continue your educational journey, just click a video on the screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.